Politically, there has been no sustained and effective effort to engage rival Iraqi factions. The U.S. must insist that Iraqi leaders make the political compromises needed for a broad-based and sustainable political settlement that will produce an inclusive political system in Iraq. A good beginning would be to press Iraqi leaders to amend the Constitution to achieve a fair sharing of power and resources. That was promised at the time of the referendum over one year ago. The resulting political consensus will allow Iraqi security forces to challenge the militias on behalf of the nation and to disarm them. Proponents of the President's escalation are equating the war on terror to the war in Iraq. As our esteemed Chairman of the House Armed Services Committee, Congressman Ike Skelton of Missouri, great patriot, has observed, quote, two conflicts, two wars, and the two should not be confused. There are those who attempt to fuzz the two conflicts together as the war on terror, but the wars are truly separate and distinct. Chairman Skelton uh, stated. The war in Iraq continues to detract from our ability to fight against the war on international terrorism effectively. We need to finish the job started more than five years ago in Afghanistan against the Al-Qaeda and the Taliban and address other conditions around the world in which the appeal of terrorism breeds. The longer it takes us to resolve the situation in Iraq, the longer resources and attention, and attention will continue to be diverted from the war on terrorism. Our ability to respond to the escalating conflict in Af Afghanistan and other potential crises in the world is constrained severely by the deterioration in military readiness to levels not seen since the Vietnam era. So there we have the six elements that we talked about. Change of mission, redeployment of troops, building of political consensus, engaging in diplomacy, reform of reconstruction, and a refocus on the war on terror. By placing so much emphasis instead on dealing with the problems in Iraq militarily and not enough emphasis on sustained political and diplomatic engagement, the President's escalation plan repeats past mistakes. The stakes in Iraq are too high to recycle proposals that have little prospect for success. The bipartisan resolution today may be non-binding, but it will send a strong message to the President. We here in Congress are committed to protecting and supporting our troops. of this legislation will signal a change in direction in Iraq that will end the fighting and bring our troops home safely and soon. Our troops are working together to secure our nation, and we in this House must work together to secure our nation as well, and to do so in a way that honors their sacrifice. I urge our colleagues to support our troops and a new direction in Iraq by voting aye on the bipartisan Skelton Lantos Jones resolution. Thank you, Madam Speaker. from Texas is